Hey guys, welcome back to Fun with Fallen Flags. So I decided I was going to start a video sequence of layout construction and I wanted to begin with the very first step that you would go through. So what I'm doing is I'm actually sitting on the bench work for the layout. This is going to be the staging area and you can see it's already been uh, put together Underneath is actually going to be storage shelves, and it's actually fairly deep. It's about three feet deep um, for the staging area. So that means I've got lots of storage underneath as well. Um, the construction, I didn't use one by fours. Obviously, I'm sitting on top of it, so it's going to hold a lot of weight. Um, it doesn't need to be this strong, but I'd rather do this than have to go back and regret using uh, some smaller material like one by threes or one by fours. I've built an entire layout out of one by fours in the past. And while it was sturdy, it wasn't really as sturdy as I wanted it to be. So anyway, this is all two by three construction. It's got um, half inch uh, particle board on top of it. And this is essentially just the, uh, the subsurface that we're gonna put the layout on top of. The layout's gonna be out of um, pink foam material but it's not going to be laid on top of uh, the tracks not going to be laid on top of uh, this um, particle board material this is to give everything a nice good solid basis to that we can build and if we decide we want to move something out we can obviously disconnect whatever we want to and we've got nice solid pieces of um, tabletop to work with and we can start fresh. Uh, I've also gone ahead and painted the entire face of everything. So while there will be storage boxes here along the bottom, uh, the face has all been painted kind of a, uh, resembles a uh, Pennsylvania freight uh, Brunswick green. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. Uh, I could have gone with a little bit darker, but I do like the color of it. I've painted a few things of this color in the past, and uh, I do like some of the storage boxes and things that I put together. Um, so let's talk about next steps. The bench work and um, storage areas are complete for the staging area. And we're going to continue this layout on uh, to this direction, to my right. Um, there's a wall here, so we're going to uh, create some openings that we are going to pass the layout off in this direction. Uh, if staging needs to be expanded in the future, I've got a four foot bookcase over here that I can go ahead and turn into additional staging. I can extend this probably another four or five feet if I want to, but it's already three feet wide. It's going to hold a lot of equipment. So I think for now, this is going to be fine. If I needed to, I can add additional staging in another part of the uh, layout room as well. So let's talk about next steps. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get some uh, pink foam material and we're going to put that on top of the, the uh, extruded uh, styrofoam material um, and then we're going to lay track on top of cork road bed on top of that. Uh, it's going to be fairly flat in here but I do want to do some scenics along the back, false front or just, uh, just generic looking scenics just so even though it's a staging room I do want a scenic part of this, you know, not just to hide some of the plumbing and the, the uh, um, fiberglass insula insulation bat uh, that's up here against the wall, but also just to make it aesthetically pleasing. This will be a staging area, so there'll be a dispatcher just outside this area, um, so there'll be a really good communication. They really don't even need to be working on headsets because they can literally stand probably four or five feet away from the dispatcher. But there is a door between them if they decide that they need to close that. Um, so other than uh, laying styrofoam and starting the track, uh, there's also some creature comforts that I want to add as well. So you can see I've got some lighting in here, but it's pretty dim. Um, a single light bulb. We're going to do some track lighting in here. Uh, power. I have an outlet, but it's not in the best location. We're going to add an additional... Uh, power outlets to this wall here. Uh, we want to put something down so that 
It not only minimizes any of the traffic dust on the floor, but also makes it look a little bit nicer. So uh, some carpet padding and then a, a piece of carpet down here, uh, especially if the operators are in here. Everybody else is going to be on carpet. These guys in here, I don't want them on the subfloor of the uh, of the bottom layer of the house. We're going to go ahead and put some carpet padding and then a piece of carpet and carpet this. Uh, this is a, a, a HVAC room, so I don't want to necessarily get carpet and carpet padding too close to the mechanicals, but I'll leave a good zone of two or three feet at least away from those areas and uh, um, go ahead and carpet most of this space. So lighting, uh, electrical outlets, carpeting, and then starting some of this. Um, down the road, we'll probably look at some of the mechanicals up here and uh, maybe making it a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing and uh, maybe a little bit more uh, uh, drywall in this section but that's really minor at this point this is a staging area it's not going to be like the rest of the basement that's going to be completely finished with drywall uh, carpeting uh, heat and AC power lighting everything um, this is the only area that's left so we're gonna bring this level this area up to uh, the right level and why am I on top of this, sitting on it? Because this is how sturdy <laughs> your layout needs to be. You're probably not going to sit on it. But you are going to lean over it, and you're going to put your hand down on it. So whatever you can do to start out with a good, solid foundation, whether it's mounted to the wall, mounted to the floor, um, this uh, bench work is actually, every leg is screwed to the floor, it's screwed to this wall, it's braced against uh, these areas too. Um, so whatever you can do to start with a good solid foundation and take the time to do that, paint, do whatever you want to do. But um, I know a lot of times you're in a big hurry. I mean, I'm dying to lay track, don't get me wrong. I want to get my DCC system up and I want to have track and put some cars and stuff out. But at the same time, I don't want to rush it because I've seen that happen in the past. I've done it myself in the past. Just take the time, do it right, do whatever you need to. I'm not going to have to mask anything off in the future. So um, uh, going forward, we're going to talk about some of the other things. We'll go through each of those as we go through uh, the progress of the layout. And I'm going to build this progressively through the uh, area that I want to build into. So I'm not going to just do nothing but bench work. We're going to build out sections, and then we're going to go on to the next section. We're going to talk about the treatments we want to use, operations, whatever. So uh, this is our first section. So I look forward to you guys. If uh, you guys are interested, uh, click the subscribe and the bell icon, and that will give you uh, updates to uh, additional uh, progress as we go through this video series. And it will also give you uh, access and you can easily go find some of the other videos that I've created as well. Um, other than that, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I look forward to a very fun, educational, and probably uh, learning experience on my part as far as uh, tackling some of the areas that I haven't been exposed to just yet. So I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the future. Thanks. I'll see you guys soon.